All right, welcome to the Worst of the Best podcast. I'm Ryan, and with me, as always, for this podcast anyways, Ruben. Ruben. Hey, Ryan. Hey, Ruben, how's it going? Good, good. Welcome to uh, my I'm, band. My band, man. This is another episode of the Worst of the Best on the road, on our way to the Metallica concert. We just, we're just pounding them out, and uh, this is exciting. This is probably the only podcast that's been recorded on a ferry boat right now, at least on this ferry boat. Well, it's good to be here. We're we're glad that you joined us, whether you're listening to us on iTunes. Oh, we keep forgetting to plug this stuff. Okay. Plug what? Well, if you're listening to us, put it this way, if you're looking at us, that means you're not listening. That's fine. Like, so what I, what I want to say not is... Not listening only. Listening only. So, find us on iTunes. iTunes. Find us on Google Play. Google Play. Podbean, Podcast, all that. Any way you can listen to us on a podcast, we're there. Mm-hmm. Uh, we also have a YouTube channel and our Facebook page, The Worst of the Best. And the reason why I bring those up is because you can get the video release of our podcast before the audio release. And sometimes people like to look at us while we talk, some just like to listen. So there's our... Pl- oh, and leave us a review on iTunes or Apple Podcasts because that helps spread the word. Even and a bad review. Please, bad or good because, hey, the more people that listen, yeah, that's great for everybody, I think. So let's go, Ruben. What's today's topic? Statutory holidays. I kind of thought of this one because we're kind of on a holiday. We're, we're going out and and I got to, I talk too fast. Ryan, Sam, talk too fast. No, I talk. I understand you. Yeah, I mumble. You mumble. I talk fast. Statutory holidays. That's what we're doing. <laughs> so we're on holiday. We're off to see uh, Metallica. Metallica. So before we get any further, Ryan, we're on a ferry boat, and we had. Um, we had some hamburgers on the ferry, and I thought, well, let's go use the bathroom before we go. Sure. Ryan goes to use a urinal. Is this too much information, Ryan? Yeah, I used the I used the urinal. I, I didn't have to go number two, so I just I stood up. I'm not saying what I had to do, but I decided to go for a stall. Hmm. And this is a public bathroom. And like, like any stall you go to, you go and open up the door. But Ruben, before you get to your part of the story, I was walking behind you, Uh huh. and I considered maybe trying out a number two if that was necessary or not and I always do what I call the foot check I do a slight little lean to my right look underneath because I never trust the door so I look for feet and I noticed that the middle stall was the only one available of the three okay and so I was like I did that quick uh, well Ruben's ahead of me so he's gonna grab the middle stall obviously because I don't like to sit between two people while going to the bathroom then I noticed that you didn't pick the middle stall. I'm like, well, what other choices does Ruben have? Because I already had this information in my head. So you go ahead and tell your journey of the story now. I just want to go open up a door. I, I like to go for the side. Yeah, well, sure, but there's there's three stalls. Yes. I'm not going to pick the middle. <laughs> well, neither would I, but it's but I would pick it if... If it that was, was the only it, option. Well, that's what I thought, and I don't know what you were... So what was your journey? My journey is I open up the door, and I see a man, with his pants around his ankles, and... Uh, he was a, uh, how are you describing? Because you saw him come out. To me, from what I saw, he was a large man. Yeah. Um, he had white pasty thighs. Nice. And um, how do you just, what did you hear when I opened up the door? He kind of chuckled. He laughed. He thought it was funny. <laughs> <laughs> he thought it was great that you walked in on he him. He did. It was like, <laughs> yeah. <this> is, yeah. <laughs> Why would you? He thought it was fantastic. He's, He's like, like, I got you. <laughs> Like that yeah, makes I, me say he did not lock the door on purpose. But he was waiting for somebody to exactly. Lock. No, he was he was it just. I, I don't know. Okay, well, I, I know what you're asking. No, I don't. Well, I don't know. I just. I know what you're asking, and the answer is I do not know. Okay. I just was, I just looked down and I was like, Ugh. yeah. <laughs> I heard the laughter, which I thought was fantastic. <laughs> it was like, and then you walked by me and gave me like a thump on the back while I was peeing. I, I I'm like, <laughs> could you wait till I'm done going to the bathroom before we share this moment oh, together? I couldn't believe that that was the response. So I have like a go-to response if I'm in the stall and somebody tries to open up. I go, come on in. There you go. But he was like, he, he didn't need to say come on in because he just kept it unlocked. All right, well, good for him. Good for you to experience that. So today's topic. Statutory holidays. Statutory and holidays. I guarantee if you've had a stat holiday, you've gone on a road trip, and you've had to use a public bathroom. I hate public bathrooms. You prefer private ones? I prefer private ones, yes. Yeah, yeah. All right, so we're doing the, what is considered to be, holidays are a favorite amongst many, many people. So the best thing, he, the best part of this, sorry, let me rephrase that. What makes this the slow best? Down slow down. Slow down. So, holidays 
are generally amongst the public enjoyed. Mm -hmm. It's the best part of the month, it's the best part of your week, it's the best part of the day, is a holiday. So we, so all holidays are the best. Nobody hates a holiday. If you hate a holiday, we don't, okay, you're probably not listening to this podcast. So we are going to decide what is the worst from the holidays, which are considered to be just the best of your times. So January, January 1st, New Year's Day. New Year's Day. Now, New Year's Day, though, that's officially the holiday, is often celebrated the night before New Year's Eve. But New Year's Day is the statutory holiday, but New Year's Eve is the celebration of New Year's Day because everyone can wake up a little bit late the next day if they don't have kids. What Best New- song for New Year's Day, Ryan? Well, there's the U2 song. What's it called? New Year's Day. Oh, very good. Yeah, uh, that wasn't a very happy time, though, at that one. No. Um, so, you like New Year's Day, Ruben? You like New Year's Eve? I love it. All right. It's, you know, it's that feeling of freshness, the beginning yeah. of a new year. My two favorite things is my birthday and New Year's Day because you got that same feeling of like, I got a new year in front of me. Right. And because I procrastinate, by the time I think of what I want to do for a new year, it's New Year's Day. All right. Moving forward. Now, in Canada, on the 20th of February, it's called Family Day. It's, See, February is... It's different, it's different days for different provinces. Yeah, it is, but... But we, in February, we have Family Day. Family Day, and Family Day is just what it sounds like. It's, it's, a, it's a government holiday that they've given to the working man saying, hey, take this day off and spend some time with your family, doggone it. I'm in the uh, Navy, in the military, and Family Day is not honored amongst the military. They do not give us the day off for it. Really? That's correct. Because wow. it's divvied out province-wide different days. It's oh, a, it's, it's a provincial holiday. Yeah, it's not a federal holiday. Opposed to, uh, interesting. Yeah. Well, I'm so glad that our federal government is saving us money. Yes. As taxpayers. Thanks. I'm K- K- Trudeau. Right? Oh, yeah, it's Trudeau's fault. <laughs> Trump. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the next holiday is, of course, uh, mid-February, mid-April, excuse me. Yeah, you got your Good Friday to your Easter Monday. It's a nice four-day weekend. So, Everyone likes this uh, Easter break or whatever you want to call it, depending on what your faith is, but it's called Good Friday to Easter Monday. Uh, it's celebrated... Well, I don't think it has to do with faith. Like, I don't understand it's religious. Background. It's a religious... It's a religious... Well, it's a religious holiday, I think, the same way Christmas is, but it's... Uh, it's he called Good to, Friday. You celebrate it differently. Well, people just take the weekend off. Yeah. Some people do Easter egg hunts. Some people do both. Attend Mass, church... Or a massive Easter egg hunt. Or a massive Easter egg hunt <laughs> in the church property. That's so um, this is the big holiday after a bit of a break. So basically, you got your January 1st, and then you have really to nothing. Me, January, me, February, March is like a dry to spell. To me, this is like the first big good meal since Christmas. Since Christmas. And it's kind of that like, hey, summer's around the corner. Yeah, you know, yeah, I, yeah. You know, the dreary months of winter are kind of getting behind us here. Yeah, it's like that long trudge through winter after Christmas break. Uh, speaking of breaks, I'm just going to break in this moment to say that we were brought to you from MeUndies. Just kidding. We're not brought to you by anybody. No. But we're about to pass another ferry boat, so there might be a big honk of a horn. Um, like Everybody can see each other. It's not choppy weather, but I think they feel obligated to honk. All right. Thank you, Room. So stand by for honk. honk. All right. So April, Easter weekend. It's a good weekend. Four, day, four days off for most people. And then in May, we have Victoria Day in Canada, and you Americans have... In uh, May, you guys have Memorial Day. That's often the barbecue weekend. What is Memorial Day for? It's for the veterans. Like the veteran, veterans they've lost? I, I, yes, it's for, I think it's your normal, those serving, those who have served, uh, remembering families who have served, who have lost their lives. It's just uh, Memorial, just like it means. I think it's for the fallen soldiers. I like that better than celebrating Queen Victoria. Yeah, I'm not a monarchist. No, I don't. I don't get very political. I just don't understand why birthright would equal you're a good leader for a country. Yeah, this just seems kind of arbitrary. So yeah, Canada, we celebrate. There's the horn. See, I warned you. That was a sad, sad sounding horn. Well, it might have been them. I don't know if that was us. All right. So Victoria Day, Queen Victoria Day in Canada, still a day off, and then Memorial Day in May for the Americans. All right, and then we get July. July 1st is Canada Day. That's our basically our equivalent to your July 4th, Americans. Well, we, we, do have, we do have July 4th in Canada. We just don't celebrate it. Yeah, we actually have the day does arrive. <laughs> we just don't do anything about it. 
And then, uh, what do you what Labor do you, Day? What do you do for Canada Day this year? It's just normal family stuff. Like, do you do fireworks? No. It's, if you have kids, kids ruin everything. <laughs> I, don't mean, I mean, yeah, like it, for Canada this last year, it was the 150th celebration of Canada as a, as a country. Mm -hmm. And for the Rebulkan home in my home, it was just another Saturday or that, whatever. Yeah, same yeah. for us. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then after that, we have, well, we have Heritage Day apparently, which is BC Day. Oh. BC Day is like a provincial holiday. First Columbia Arbor. Oh, there we go. All right. Maybe the captain was swearing. Yeah, he might have been. So, in the every province has their own like their own Independence Day, so to speak, uh, a, a provincial holiday. So ours is in August. It's kind of nice. It's the first weekend in August, and uh, I'm sure the states probably have the same thing. I don't know. Our American listeners could tell us if each state has their own day off from the state, like Texas Day, or uh, I know Utah has Pioneer Day, and there's P Puerto Rico doesn't have. It's not a state, but they definitely have a Puerto Rican Day. Yeah, they have the parades and all of that. Yeah, Seinfeld did a good good episode on. I love Seinfeld. Love that episode. Yeah, it's was a it, controversial was it the, episode. The, the ribbon. I can't remember. Where Kramer wouldn't wear the ribbon in yeah. the parade. Yeah, <laughs> he got bullied. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're moving into fall. We got our Labor Day. This is when uh, things start picking up activity in people's homes with kids going back to school. And what are you doing this Labor Day weekend, Ryan? This Labor Day weekend, I'm seeing Guns and Roses. Guns and Roses. Hey, yeah. me too. I'll see uh, you there. Nice. I like Labor Day weekend. Yeah, it's kind of like a it's yeah it's like the end of summer, but you're like oh fall's around the corner. I like fall, and after fall, of course, is some of the really big holidays of the year. Yeah, I've been uh, prepping for my fall and winter body all summer. Good, you look good. Thank you, thank you. Uh, and then we have well Thanksgiving. 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 So in Canada, Thanksgiving is is in October, and in the states, it's in November. Yeah, well, we had Thanksgiving first, we celebrated first in Canada. Yeah, you know, I, I lived in the States for four years with my family. We worked at a military base there. Uh, and we kind of, enjoyed, I kind of liked having Thanksgiving yeah, in November. I know, I know. It was kind of like a precursor to Christmas feel. You're like, oh boy, one more month is Christmas, the shopping kicks in, all that stuff. It's kind of like, it's almost like the get ready for Christmas holiday. <laughs> it is. You know, like, Christmas is literally like a month away. Let's but, get eating, let's, let's get, get. Yeah, let's get eating. And then people start putting the trees up after Thanksgiving, people start, so it's kind of like a precursor to Christmas, whereas in Canada it's in October, which again is kind of nice, but we haven't done Halloween yet, so it's always kind of weird. What I like about having uh, Thanksgiving in Canada earlier is because my birthday is Thanksgiving weekend typically. And so, they don't get muddled. No, they don't. It needs to be all about me. And actually what I really like about American Thanksgiving is the movies. That's when the movies yeah. turn, turn up a notch. That's yeah, a big, big blockbuster come come out. All right, so of course there's that last big one, Ruben. The last big one of the year, everyone knows, Kwanzaa. I was going to say, <laughs> I was going to say that. I beat you, buddy. Uh, tell me about Kwanzaa. Anyways, it's Christmas. We're not. I don't want to get. I don't want to say anything. So my my wife has a daycare, and it's a multicultural daycare. So she will do um, Hanukkah. She's done Kwanzaa. Nice. Uh, she's doing Festivus this year. Oh, yeah, Festivus, Festivus. What's the, the Muslim one? She she did it last year. She's doing it this year. Oh, uh, Chakra. Saeed, Aid. Oh crap, Saeed. Was uh, that a, a character know. from Lost? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, it's gonna come to me later. All right. Anyways, but yeah, she'll be doing that as well. And then Christmas. All right. So, Ruben, this podcast is obviously what is the worst statutory holiday out of this. Between Canada and America, pretty much the same holidays, give or take a week or two here. Uh, well, I have a different answer for both countries. Okay, wow. I know. So you might have the same answer for each country then. Well, yeah, I've got my worst pick. It's just the one. Oh, we didn't even see Boxing Day. So it's, not, it's, not, it's not a statutory holiday. Oh, uh, right, 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 right. Yeah. Okay, so. Uh, so we didn't say Halloween either for that reason. Oh. True that. We didn't say Valentine's Day. And we didn't say Valentine's Day. Oh man, oh, St. Patrick's Day. Oh. Uh, What's the worst of the best non statutory holiday? St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> best of the worst? Worst of the best, sorry. What is the worst uh, of the best holiday? I don't holiday? even pay attention to it. Yeah. Um, okay, all right. 
Ryan, you go. Well, the, my worst pick of statutory holidays is actually New Year's Day. Oh, really? Yeah, it, um, I, I like Thanksgiving. I like all the other things that we talked about regarding the other holidays. Like, I love a long weekend, don't get me wrong, but if, I, the reason why New Year's Day, New Year's Day, not New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, is because it's kind of like, ah, it's all over. It's yeah, a yeah. weird feeling of like, even though it's a day off, work, we already had a whole bunch because of Christmas. Everything's climax. It's kind of, yeah, it's like... <laughs> hey, it's just you roll over and go to bed. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> my worst pick. My worst pick. Sorry, sorry, listeners. My worst pick is um, where was it? Victoria Day. I hate the monarchy. I hate. It's too strong of a word. Never no. mind. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't, that's, that one just seems kind of weird. Yeah, and the only reason why I don't I like that one a little bit better than the same reasons. It's it's. It's a weekend in the, in the springtime, so I like that. Like, don't get me wrong. If I was born to royalty, I would accept it. Sure. Um, I will take every Victoria Day off. Yep. But where I feel like the need to celebrate, it's, it's pretty uh, bold to have a holiday after yourself. I declare. <laughs> hey, that's a question for you, Ruben. Yeah, go ahead. What would be Ruben Day? Would well, my, make, my birthday. birthday? Yeah, yeah. I guess so. I guess birthday would be the... I should like do that like Reuben Sandwich Day, Reuben Day. I should start that. Someone's probably already started that. Someone's got like a deli somewhere. I declare October 28th, Ryan Day. Yeah, it is. I like the day of Ryan better. The day of Ryan. Ooh, nice. Yeah. All right, was there anything else you want to go over with the holiday? Well, yeah, there's a... Uh, I thought, well, we got international listeners. Yes, we do. All around the world. And so I thought, well, here's some three other... Real statutory holidays where they get the day off is not just observed, but it's observed. And That's the day right, off. observed holidays. That's right. They're, yeah. just, they're like observed just means hey, we know you're there. <laughs> All right. Does anybody know what March 23rd is? What? Well, guess what? If um, you are, well, I'll tell you. A few battles I'm reading, by the way, yeah. are remembered in such a strange way as the Bolivian loss to the port of Calama to Chilean forces on March 23rd. The land yawning? <laughs> no, I well, no, I just <laughs> what, what, my breath bad. What's going on? No, well, really, that's supposed to point it out because our listeners don't see. I but the people might be watching. I know. Maybe I was just spitting gum out the window or something. You weren't. You're yawning. No, but I'm just. I'm. You're not born. March twenty third. The landlocked country remembers the loss of its last oceanfront property. All right. By marching in parades and solemnly listening to recordings okay. of seagulls and ship horns. Well, who celebrates this? The Chileans or the Bolivians? Okay. Probably the Bolivians. The, the other ones that I so our lost. listeners that are not, we haven't reached Chile just yet or Bolivia, but we want to honor the, our future listeners who come back and listen to this. I gotta say that's a terrible holiday. Yeah. Well, they get a day off work. Who wants to listen to recordings of ship horns? We had a ship horn here. Yeah. Well, I guess maybe maybe it's today, March twenty third. All right, and then um, Korean Alphabet Day for all <laughs> of our Korean listeners out there. This is the day off. Yes. They're celebrating uh, Hangul Day, or on January 15th. South Koreans, I don't know what North... Oh, North Koreans will get a holiday? They celebrate all the time. Oh, Things they're... are so great there. Oh, it's beautiful there. Oh. Wonderful there. All hail Supreme Leader Kim Jong-un. Supreme. That idiot. I think Trump's like upset he didn't come up. Like, That's a great nickname. There's a... <laughs> the best... The best nickname. It sounds like you're doing like a JFK. I did. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm not an impressionist. Anyways, um, yeah, they celebrate the, the the creation of the alphabet. <laughs> Good for them. Yeah. Who's yeah? Okay. And last I wonder. One. I wonder if um, the village people were uh, part Korean. They I got a it. song for the YMCA. All right, and then this is the favorite, Ryan. I want you to take oh. take care of this one. This is a real holiday. <laughs> Before I say the name of the holiday, let me give you some clues here. Well, while America is still wildly divided on their opinions of Obama, he is a national hero in Kenya. So much so that they created a national holiday to celebrate his victory at the polls. <laughs> Come on. This is Come real. On. This is real. So every November 6th since 2008, oh, I, I love the stipulation, like, did they come up with this holiday before the victory on the polls? <laughs> 
Kenyans have celebrated the first generation American through parties and other forms of celebration. So, anyways, they have they celebrate Obama Day, November sixth in Kenya. But keep keep reading, keep reading. Oh, uh, if you're looking for a more local celebration, I oh, am. Oh, <laughs> for the president, apparently Perry County, Alabama, has followed suit, of declaring all the states, Alabama, declaring the second <laughs> Monday of every November to be Obama Day. Although I somehow doubt the festivities are as major as they are in Kenya. Uh, why? Why do you think it's a little less in Alabama? Uh, Alabama? Was yeah, I think Al I think Alabama has Alabama. Been, I, was missing I, I don't know my history, or I think it, the southern countries I, are they friendly towards Kenyans? I'm, I don't know what their history with Kenyans are. Um, I don't want to assume, but I, don't, I, just, I know there's a bit of an adversary role when it comes to uh, track races. Yes, uh, the uh, Al Al people from Al Alabama and Kenya. Alabamians. Are, Alabamians and Kenyans. The good people. They uh, go neck and neck during the marathon runs. Yeah. Okay, so well, with that, the worst holiday for Ryan is uh, January 1st, New Year's Day in Reuben. Victoria Day. Victoria Day for us Canadians. I take the day off and enjoy it, though. Absolutely. Remember, everybody, even in holidays, even during the holidays. Even the most festive of times. There is a cloud in front of every silver lining. And we're here to help you find that cloud. <laughs>